Nicotine vapour products, such as e-cigarettes or vaporisers, as they're also known, have become increasingly popular and now there are plans in a bill being scrutinised by the Scottish Parliament to restrict them, similar to what's been done with conventional cigarettes over the years. I think they should be regulated um, because you're still inhaling things that could be toxic um, and if they're not regulated then people might not know the health risks. I just think it's people's own choices, you know, they, if they know what's, what a, an e-cigarette is, it's their choice whether they choose to take them or not. This e-cigarette is just like, it's meant to be a way of quitting, so if everybody can get onto this e-cigarette and everybody can stop smoking, then it'll be a lot better for the environment. I think they probably should be, because we don't know what's ahead down the line health-wise for people who are using these now. I don't think they need to be regulated because apparently they don't do harm to the great public. So that's, uh, that's my view. They're too much like cigarettes. I wouldn't have wanted my children as young teens smoking them. What about you? No, I still don't like people blowing the smoke over me because I don't know what's in them either. The measures are contained in the Health Scotland Bill, which is being looked at by the Scottish Parliament's Health and Sport Committee. And the committee is now seeking the views of the public on these proposals. It includes a ban on the sale of e-cigarettes to under 18s, a ban on adults buying e-cigarettes for minors and requirement for e-cigarette retailers to be registered. The bill would also make it an offence to smoke conventional cigarettes in parts of hospital grounds. And it features plans for further changes to improve healthcare safety. Those proposals include a duty of candour for health and social care organisations, requiring them to be open with people when harm has occurred. There will also be a new offence of willful neglect or ill-treatment of adults receiving health or social care. Well, this is the stage where we actually call for ordinary people reviews. Governments and politicians are not, have not got all the knowledge here. Those, those practical um, experiences that we would hope that, would, uh, that people will contact us with are very, very important in informing the legislation going forward. Uh, that, that, that's why we're calling for evidence and we very much hope that people will take this opportunity in areas that may affect them to contact the committee and involve themselves at this early stage. You can get more information about the Health Scotland Bill on our webpage. You can submit your views to us by email or by post and you can join the debate on social media.